and the ages 14, 17, 23, which now tells you there is another trend of the type of persons who are committing these heinous crimes that we would normally associate with, you know, grown and kind of cultured type of criminals. Police Commissioner Atlee Rodney, speaking to ABS News last month, pointing to the alleged involvement of young people in recent robberies. So what could be driving this criminal behavior among youth? We sought the perspective of Senior Probation Officer Alvin Javis. He says poor parenting often emerges as a major factor in repeated instances of juvenile delinquency. For the ones who persistently or continuously get involved in criminal activities, when we examine the home environment, um, there is where we find the problem of co-parenting, lack of family support, lack of community support. Javis says some parents fail to respond appropriately to signs of defiance and improper conduct of their children. This results in their children cultivating these bad habits. That cute syndrome where the child um, exhibits certain poor behavior and the parents think of it as being cute, do nothing about it and it festers into something more. He added, the notion that it takes a village to raise a child is still valid and sometimes the community may have to get involved. It's a collective effort with all you would have mentioned, the teachers, the community, the parents, the church. It's a collective effort um, in raising a child. And this, he says, is part of the solution. This is Kim Emanuel Baird reporting for ABS News.